What is up, Virgo? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. My left ear just started ringing. So some of you, your ear may be ringing as well. Uh, right ear or left ear doesn't matter, but I'm getting ear ringing could be significant. I was also clear audiently hearing just have fun just have fun with it. And I was also hearing just go with it. Some of you may be contemplating leaving a relationship or contemplating being done with your ex or an old situationship. And that is the right decision for you. I'm seeing that that is ultimately going to be the decision that you make. You are going to pull your energy away from this person or from this relationship and kind of go your own way. Some of you, I'm also seeing that you may be contemplating a new job or a new career path. And I also see that that will be very successful and lucrative for you, especially if you are going into business for yourself, creating your own business. I was seeing the King of Pentacles. So within the next 72 hours, some of you are going to receive an unexpected cash infusion. Some of you, your paycheck may be bigger because I'm getting that it's payday for some of you. So your paycheck may be a little larger. There could be like extra hours on there that you didn't know about. There could be um, like a bonus on there. Some of you may be getting a donation from somebody or a tip from somebody. You may be getting like a rebate or a refund on something that you weren't expecting. I'm also seeing something about like money coming back to you faster. So if something got canceled or refunded, maybe you thought you weren't going to get it until like next week. And I'm getting that you're going to get it earlier. You may even get it today or tomorrow. Something's going to be deposited into your bank account sooner than you expected for some of you. Maybe it is your paycheck, but it could also be an unexpected cash infusion. So the King of Pentacles is always great when that shows up. Let's see what the Moonology Oracle cards have to say for you. I wanted to apologize for not being here for the past two weeks. Do check out my other socials. I have Instagram, I have another YouTube channel, and I have TikTok. They're all down in the description box down below. But I'm more active on TikTok and Instagram just because it's easier for me to film like a quick couple minute video, post it, and go. So if you want more me, go over there. Information's in the description box down below. Um, but I want to say thank you to those of you who clicked on this video and have waited for two weeks for a reading from me. Honestly, I don't really have an excuse for you. I've been doing personal readings, which did take up a lot of my time. Information for that is in the description box down below as well. I am doing personal readings right now, but I'm only doing 15 minute one-on-one -on -one Google Meet readings on Fridays and Mondays. You can go check that out in my website down in the description box down below too. If you're interested in that, I will be doing that until December 8th. I did do personal readings, um, pre-recorded videos. I had to close those down just because I got overwhelmed and I'm very grateful for everybody who came through. They're all completed now, by the way. So if you purchased a pre-recorded reading with me, that is done. Make sure you are checking your email and logging into your SnipFeed account to find those. If you're having any trouble finding it, reach out to SnipFeed support. That's what they're there for. But also if they aren't helping you, feel free to email me personally and I can try to help you as well. But all outstanding, Personal readings have been completed. So that was what was keeping me away from you guys for the most part. And then also this feeling of not feeling good enough, which I think is a Virgo energy. Maybe you guys have been feeling lately like not good enough or like what you're creating isn't good enough and it needs to be better, like you need to be better. The answer is that you don't and you are good enough. You don't have to make it better. It's just this perfectionism thing that we have Virgos, and that's okay. It's okay. But we're here now, so I'm going to get you a reading. We're going to find out what it is that Virgo needs to be aware of. We're not going to put any time frame on this, so whenever you see it is whenever you are meant to see it. Remember to only take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. I see all the time when people are saying in the comments that it's not their reading or that they don't agree with the reading, and that's okay. Maybe I'm just not reading for you. Maybe the reading isn't for you, right? The answers you need are coming is your first card. So let's see if the answers you need are in this reading. 
but that's a good sign overall. If you've been needing some sort of answer or some sort of solution, you're going to get that. I'm getting something about this upcoming week. You're going to receive the answer that you need this upcoming week. Bottom of the deck is you're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, you are very close to achieving your goal. Don't give up now. Just have fun. That is your advice. Seriously, I heard that. Just have fun. Just have fun with it. And also I heard just go with it because whatever is happening is happening for you, not to you. As much as it seems like it's happening to you and it's your fault for some of you, you may be feeling like you're to blame, you're at fault, you're being punished. No, it's all happening for you, not to you, okay? But some of you are not feeling like you're being punished and it's not your fault. You know that already. But I just needed to remind you that everything that's happening is happening for you, not to you. We're seeing the lover's card. This represents a choice. For some of you, this could represent like a soulmate or a twin flame or a divine counterpart. You could be reconnecting with somebody or you're meeting somebody new. Gemini energy is coming through very specifically. This could also be like a best friend is what I'm seeing. Some of you may be getting, you may be making a new best friend. I was hearing a gay best friend, like a gay BFF. So some of you, you may be making a new friend. Um, I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy and I feel like you and this Gemini get along really well because you guys can communicate with each other really well. It's almost like you can read each other's minds because of that Mercury connection that the two of you share. Mercury being the planet that rules both Gemini and Virgo. It feels like you and this person just talk and talk and talk and you have so much fun and it's very like fun, funny, laughter, comedy. That's the energy that I'm getting between the two of you. You laugh a lot, like knee slapping is what I'm seeing. Knee slapping jokes. Wow, the two of you are very funny. Or this person is very funny and they make you laugh a lot. And then you guys like have really good banter too. The UK or England could be significant since I just used the word banter. Um, that doesn't have to resonate though. Let's get into this a little bit deeper. But I was seeing that some of you are making a choice right now. You may be making a choice to leave the past behind, to leave the old life behind, to leave the ex behind. I'm getting something about if they didn't contact you already, if they haven't contacted you by now, you're not going to hear from that person or you're not going to reconnect with that person. So some of you were wondering about whether you're going to be getting back together with an ex and I don't see that happening. I see that it's something that you don't really want. It's not going to happen, but you may be seeing tarot readings that are telling you that there is an X coming back, and maybe that reading isn't for you. I'm just getting that the answers you need are coming. You are very close to achieving a goal, personal goal, and the X is not coming back, or an X situationship is not coming back. You're already past that. This choice that you're making requires some sort of strength. It requires some sort of courage. The good news is you've already made this choice before, is what I'm feeling. Something about what's going on with you right now, Virgo, feels very familiar. It feels like you've made this choice before or you've been through this chapter before. So something may have been repetitive. You may have felt like you were repeating some sort of cycle, but that is very close to coming to an end and you're making the choice to get out of it. I'm feeling like now you're more aware of what patterns have been repeating in your life. And so you're able to make the conscious choice now to choose what's better for you. And I don't want you to be mad at your past self or anything like that because you just weren't aware of the fact that it was repeating. You weren't aware you were in some other sort of mindset at that time. So you couldn't see what you can see now, right? And I'm a firm believer that everything happens when it's supposed to happen. So now it's time for you to break free from some sort of repetition or a repeating pattern in your life, or some of you have already done that and this is confirmation that you're on the other side. Congratulations. Some of you may be feeling like celebrated, but not on this earth. You may be feeling like, I don't know how to say this without just saying it, so take it how it resonates. What I was getting is that in like the 5D and these higher dimensions, you can feel like your ancestors praising you and clapping for you and congratulating you 
but you're not seeing that type of energy in your everyday life yet, okay? Because it hasn't been the right time yet or it's not time yet for your manifestations to come in for this goal to be achieved. But just know that if you're feeling that energy of being congratulated and celebrated in the higher dimensions, it's going to come down into this, this world too. You're very close to achieving this goal. You're very close to this manifestation, which is why you're being guided to just have fun with it. Just have fun. Because the energy of fun creates more. But the energy of lack creates more lack, right? Or the energy of doubt creates more doubt. What I'm really getting from that is like where you set the intention, where intention goes, energy flows. Okay. That's why the universe is kind of asking you to go with the flow of like having fun, doing more things that are fun for you because that'll create more fun energy for you in the future. I was also getting something about leave that Leo alone. And we're seeing the strength card. So some of you may be choosing yourself over a Leo because some of you may have put a Leo on a pedestal. This could be whatever relation to you family, friend, coworker, lover, boss, etc. I see that some of you may have put this Leo on a pedestal and now you're taking your power back. You're taking your throne back because you gave this Leo the throne that was always yours to begin with. You gave the Leo the crown that was always yours to begin with, metaphorically speaking. And I'm seeing that you're leaving that Leo alone now. That's your best bet. That's in your best interest to leave that Leo alone. That could be what the choice is. You're choosing whether to keep entertaining a Leo, keep thinking about a Leo, keep wondering about a Leo, keep putting a Leo above yourself, or to take your own power back and to put yourself first now and to leave the Leo alone. And I feel like that's what's best for you is to leave the Leo alone. Okay. I was also getting something about preparing for hibernation. Some of you may be preparing for hibernation. Some of you may be um, gaining weight I was getting reference to a bear. So when the winter comes, which we're coming into winter season, winter energy in the Northern Hemisphere, but I feel like this applies regardless for some of you, whether you live in the Northern Hemisphere or do not. I was getting something about preparing for a winter and it felt like the bear energy and the bear knows when to go into hibernation, when to go into that deep rest but it feels like you are like the bear in this situation where like your internal clock is picking up on the fact that there is going to be like a deep rest or a depression era. I'm using that word, depression. And it feels like maybe you can intuitively feel like there is a depression coming on, but I don't want to scare you or really use that word in the way that it usually means because what I'm really getting here is like the depression energy is not for you to be like sad and completely alone and to be having a tough time. This depression energy really feels like you don't need to be creating so much. You don't need to be doing so much. It's time for you to kind of like take a step back to rest and to allow all of the seeds that you've already planted to grow and to develop and to fertilize, etc while you take a break, while you get some sleep, while you nourish yourself and fill up your own cup. Because the universe really does play a big part in our manifestations and in our path, but sometimes we have to get out of our own way. So this depression or hibernation energy that's coming in is really for us to get out of our own way and for us to allow the universe to kind of come in and take play. Hopefully that makes sense. But some of you may be intuitively picking up on like yourself slowing down, maybe gaining more weight, maybe eating a little bit more, um, maybe getting tired more, changing up your bedtime routine, changing up when you go to sleep, sleeping in a little bit more. Don't feel guilty for this. That's the most important thing is to not feel guilty. Listen to your body. Everything else outside of you can wait. The bird just started calling and I think it was a crow when I said that. Putting your body first is really important right now. It's going to lead to strength. So some of you, there is this period of like recharging, but it's happening slowly because you're like the bear and the bear intuitively knows that the bear has to start 
eating more so that it can sleep and the food that it eats can go through its body. I don't know how to say this, but you get what I'm saying. But the bear is intuitively channeling when the upcoming months that the hibernation is coming and so are you. So there is some sort of like hibernation or depression period coming, but I don't want that to scare you. It just feels like it's necessary for the evolution and necessary for our growth, period. Okay, let's see one more card for you. I don't want to make this reading too long or get too many cards because I keep confusing myself with too many cards. So that could be a message for some of you too if you read for yourself. Maybe just get a couple cards from the decks that you're pulling. Less is more kind of energy. I'm also hearing the less you know, the better. Especially about that Leo. The answers you need are coming. For some of you, there is a new person in your life. An air sign or a Gemini, or there's going to be a new person in your life. This Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I feel like you're supposed to just go with it and just have fun with it. Don't put any label or expectation on it. Just have fun with it. Okay. Your last card is retrograde. Review. Okay. We're not going to leave this as your last card. We're going to get you to the bottom of the deck too. The 10th house authority. So this is even more confirmation for some of you who have been contemplating leaving a career path or leaving a path behind and starting a new path, starting a new career. This is your confirmation that that's going to be very successful for you and it's going to be lucrative as well. The 10th house represents our career. The retrograde thing feels like what you're going through right now. So some of you may be even feeling like, why does it feel like Mercury retrograde? There could even be some technology issues. There could be some construction, some detours going on around you. Just some things that are making you contemplate and think. And it feels like this is coming to an end because I feel like you're overcoming some sort of mindset or some sort of limiting belief. With this card saying you're very close to achieving your goal, the one underneath of it says expect powerful change. There's a new moon coming up, so expect powerful change with this new moon. And then we're seeing this 10th house, which I always read this card as overcoming obstacles because you can see that there's a character climbing up the mountains and this is you. Oh, and then there's Virgo energy underneath to confirm that this is you. So I need you to know that you are making progress on your journey. I also need you to know that the past is not going to repeat itself. It feels like you've already learned your lesson. You're now consciously aware of the pattern that was repeating. So you're good from that. You're clear on that. It's not going to repeat itself. You don't have to worry about that. Some of you are worried about like past relationship dynamics or past relationship patterns or behaviors manifesting into a new relationship that you're trying to build. I don't see that happening, so you're good on that. It feels like you really have already learned your lesson and you already have cleared the karma out, but there could just be something in your mind that is kind of bringing you back to that past energy right now. I just need you to know that it's not going to repeat itself unless you continue to think that it will, right? Because our thoughts create our, our reality. So if you continue to think that the past is going to repeat itself, then it's likely that it will because you're already going to be looking for that past pattern to repeat itself. But if you tell yourself that you're good, that you've already cleared that, you've already healed from that energy and that you're good to go in this new situation, you will be totally fine, okay? So hopefully this message helped you. Sending you love always, Virgo. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated and I will see you next time. Bye.